All right, welcome back to the channel and thanks for checking out this video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a funnel from scratch. Hi, my name is DG Funnels and I help businesses grow online using sales funnels. So if you don't know, now you know. And before we dive in, um, if you want to grab a free template and a free trial for ClickFunnels, which is the software that I'll be using in this video, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below. If you already have an account, that's fine. You can still take advantage of the free template at the same link as well. So let's get into it and start talking about how you can build a funnel from scratch. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is figure out what is your objective with the funnel. And usually that boils down into two categories. Typically, it's either to collect leads so that you can sell them something later, whether it's in another funnel or over the phone, for example, or in person, or um, it's to actually sell them some type of product or service in the actual funnel itself at that time when they visit the page. So first you figure out what is your objective. And then once you've figured out your objective, the next thing that you need to do, and please don't skip this step, because if you skip this step, it's probably going to cost you tons of money and ad spend as well as in production time. But you want to find your competitors, find out what type of offers your competitors are making and also find their funnels and see how they structure their funnels and what is the setup that they're using. Now, sometimes your competitor may not be using a funnel. Maybe it's a website, but there's still a lot of helpful information that you can gain from that site, such as headlines, subheadlines, pain points, messaging, things like that. So if they don't have a funnel, that's fine too. You know, go to their websites, figure out what they're offering, how they're structuring it, how they're positioning it so that you can then model your offer in your funnel essentially to emulate that. Now, once you've gathered that information, you're ready to come into the builder and start building out your funnel. But I'm going to give you guys this rule as a funnel designer, never, ever, 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 ever start with a blank page. I used to do it back in the day. I thought it was like some badge of honor because I'd be starting with a blank page and all that stuff. Quite frankly, it's just a waste of time. You should already have a vision in your mind of what the funnel should potentially look like based on the research that you've done previously. And then what you want to do is that you want to find a template that already has most of those elements in place that is going to save you a tremendous amount of time as far as just editing and moving things and shifting it around. And the other reason why you want to use a template is because all successful funnels follow the same patterns. Some people call those patterns a framework. Some people call them best practices. What you call it is what you call it. But essentially, they all kind of just have that similar look and feel. And so what you really want to be dialed in on when you're doing your research and when you start to make your own funnel is what is the best framework that I can use to be able to position this offer, whether it's to collect leads or to sell a product. So for the purpose of this demonstration to show you how quickly you're able to put a funnel together, we're actually going to build out one of the most popular funnel types, which is known as a tripwire funnel. And the idea of a tripwire funnel is that you're going to sell them a low ticket item on the front end and then have a series of upsells after that, uh, which increase your overall average cart value. So I'm going to go ahead and select um, sell a product. Then I'm going to select sales funnel and I'm just going to call this one. We're just going to call this Tripwire YouTube, okay? And we're going to go ahead and build it. So now what it's doing is it's putting together these pages here. So it's going to have a landing page, also known as an opt-in page or squeeze page, a sales page, as well as an order form and an order confirmation form. Now for the purpose of a Tripwire funnel, I'm actually going to sort of do things, do a couple of things here before we get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to um, delete this thank you page because you really don't need a thank you page and an order confirmation page. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm also going to go ahead and delete the sales page because with the tripwire funnel that we'll be using, we're actually going to be able to put a sales message on the order page. And I'm going to show you guys that in a second when we go through here and, uh, and select our templates. And then what I'm going to do for this demonstration is I'm going to add one OTO, also known as a one-time offer or an upsell page. So I'm going to go ahead and add one of those. And then I'm just going to drag this up here to where it comes after the order form. And I'm sorry here. Let me delete that. Okay. So the idea is that our traffic would first hit a squeeze page in which they give us their email in exchange for some type of free item. 
and then we're going to send them to the low ticket offer and then the upsell and then we have the order confirmation page right so what we want to do is just kind of scroll through here and pick some type of template that we feel sort of fits what it is we may be looking to do so let's just see here and as you can see there's a lot of different uh, templates that you can choose from so let's just say here let's just say maybe we we go with uh, something like this okay so we're gonna go ahead and select that template for our squeeze page and now let's go to our order form and here's a pretty cool trick that you can do um, when you're browsing through like different mm -hmm. templates inside of your ClickFunnels account. Like if you give them specific names or anything else like that, um, this is just a quick little thing that you can do is that you can come in here and just search. And then that way now you see all of the different funnels uh, and the templates that match. So, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. I'm just going to grab one that I think sticks out to me. Um, let's see, let's just go with this one for the time being. All right, and I'll show you guys a quick preview, right? So this is what the page is going to look like. And remember, don't get caught up in the pictures and everything else and the colors. All of this is fully customizable. So you can come in here, change all of these colors, change all of the fonts, put your own image right there, right? All of that stuff, put your own copy in here and, uh, and be ready to go, okay? So um, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys this one. This one has a little bit more copy on it, okay? So here we go. So we have a product image. We have our copy, right? We have uh, some highlights here about the product. We have our order form. We have testimonials um, written. Then we have some video testimonials, right? And we have all of these pretty cool things there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab this page, all right? This is gonna be our, this is gonna be our guinea pig page. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select this as a template, all right? Now, we wanna go to our upsell page. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click here. Okay. And now it's going to just basically load all of our templates again. All right, and I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on one click upsell. So now this is going to show me all of the upsell templates that I have in my account. And again, I mean, you can tweak and edit and do whatever it is, you know, that you want for your product that makes sense. So I'm just looking here right at all of the different options and things that we can do. Right. Um, and here, let's see. We have a bunch, right? When it comes to tripwire, we can do any of these that we want. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just go with this one, right? So we're gonna select template. All right, and then we would do the same thing for the order confirmation page as well. Just go through. Um, but what I really want to show you guys is because I want to open up the editor and just show you, you know, how quickly and easily you can start editing, right? So you just come in here and you just start changing things. You click here and you change your, you know, you start changing your background colors. You start changing your font colors. You start changing the copy, the, the verbiage, you know, for this one, you have to, if you chose to record a video, which I always recommend. And then you get into this and you have the copy and you just start typing it out, you know, or, or producing a copy or whatever you want to do. But it's just so much faster and easier for you to be able to do it this way. And hopefully in your mind, you can kind of just visualize right now, you know, how quickly you'd be able to come in and just start typing out headlines for, for your offers and changing out these pictures with your own product pictures or e-covers or images or whatever you want to do. Or maybe if you're selling a service, how quickly you can just get in here and start editing this to represent your service. And then, you know, changing these value, changing these colors, all of this stuff, changing your icons, all of that stuff is, is very, very easy and simple for you to do. But why you don't have to do that from scratch? and why it doesn't make sense for you to, to want to do that. And I shouldn't say from scratch, but why you shouldn't want to do that 
from a blank page because to do this from a blank page is just going to add so much extra work in terms of building out all of these sections and everything else when you can go ahead and start with that built-in advantage so uh, as you can see, I'm a creature of habit. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and back out, even though there's really no reason for me to save that page. But whatever, man, you know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I mean, that covers it for the video. Um, if you like this video, it's super necessary that you like, comment, and subscribe. That way you can get notifications anytime I release new content that's going to help you increase your conversions uh, in your funnels and launch your offers faster and, and drive traffic. And also let me know in, in the comments what you guys want to see, you know, if, if, how do you plan on using, um, you know, funnels in your business or different things like that. So um, that pretty much covers it. Don't forget if you want a, a free funnel template, um, you can click the link in the description below to grab it. And uh, until the next time, peace.